Hey guys, welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. Special thanks to all of my patrons. My name's Neil and it's time for another episode of Lost. The incident, guys, we're here. It's episode 16 of season five. We're gonna see part one of the incident and I cannot be more excited. We've been talking about the incident since early season two when we uh, saw the orientation film. I think it was the first time we heard about it. And it's been a mysterious thing that happened in the past of the island ever since. Of course, now we're in 77 and it feels like we're about to set it off. And it's either going to be related to Jughead, the hydrogen bomb that's conveniently directly under Dharmaville, or it's going to be with the breaking ground at the Swan Station that Radzinski's about to start, or perhaps it's going to be the both of them combined, but I think we're going to see it now because the episode's titled The Incident. In fact, it's a two-parter, of course. All season finales on Lost seem to be at least two-parters, if not three. We're, we're starting to see so many... Um, moments on the show from another perspective. Um, now that we started jumping through time, we're seeing the flip side of things. We're, see you know, we saw Locke in the bushes telling Richard to go help Locke last episode. How crazy is that? And yet, hardly batted an eye because, of course, things like this happened. But the island is clearly telling Locke about these things because otherwise how would you possibly know what time to go save yourself unless the island told you tonight's the night Locke has a connection to the island i think at that point at this point that is indubitable and i think that scares the heck out of ben who i don't think has ever really had a connection with the island the one moment in his life that I think um, really sort of affected him was seeing his mother's ghost at the fence line when he was a child in, in Dharmaville. And, and then he ran into Richard and was told to be patient. But I'm not sure that Ben truly has a connection to the island. I think he knows a lot. I think he's He's Machiavellian in his manipulations and his focus and his uh, capabilities, but he may not have a bond to the island like Locke does. And I think as soon as he's ever since he's met Locke, he's been afraid afraid of that that Locke is special and he isn't. I think he's known he isn't special, perhaps from day one. Maybe the seeing ghosts thing, seeing his mother is the one thing that made him think he was special, but he's never, maybe he's never had that connection again. Maybe he's never seen Jacob. Maybe everything he's done has been to get to something that he has not yet achieved. And now he and Locke and Richard, along with all the others in 2007, presumably, are marching off to find Jacob so that Locke can kill Jacob. Why exactly? Well, we don't know, because that was our cliffhanger. But Locke's motivated, and he's focused, and he's the leader. He's the new leader. And Ben promised the island that um, he would do whatever Locke says. He, he's been a little pissy about it all last episode anyway. But um, what happens if he doesn't help Locke? I think that's the more interesting question. Does the island take its vengeance out upon him, or, or what? I'm ready to jump into it, guys. I'm really excited to see what happens here. I haven't even talked about Sawyer and Juliet and Kate on a sub, but um, maybe we'll get a little bit more of that story, or maybe we don't see them ever again because they, they end up living in the 70s in LA. Bob's your uncle. Anyway, guys, this is episode 16 of season 5 of Lost, and it's... The Incident, Part 1. Old-timey. Sandals, spinning wheel. Oh, are we in the same temple? Is that Jacob? Oh. Writing in Greek. This is definitely in Hawaii. But is it the... It's presumably the island, too. Oh, sailing ship. 
Is this the Black Rock? Are these Morning. the... Morning. So confused. The modern American accents are completely throwing me. They're not act acting old-timey. Take it you're here because of the ship. I am. What year is this? How did they find the island? You'll have to ask them when they get here. You brought them here. You're trying to prove me wrong, aren't you? You are wrong. Am I? Is one of these guys they Jacob? Come, fight. They destroy. They corrupt. It always ends the same. Always. It only ends once. Anything that happens before that, just progress. Who are these guys? Do you have any idea how badly I want to kill you? Yes. Always nice talking to you, Jacob. That's Jacob the Blonde, okay. Nice talking to you too. What's his name? Use his name. Ah! It's the statue! Carrying an onk. Whoa. Is that a crocodile head? Two onks and a crocodile head. Okay, um... Ha! Huh. So, there's Jacob. This is obviously a long time ago. But not too long ago, because we saw, like, uh... What might have been the Black Rock off the shore. Who's the other guy other than Jacob? Are you gonna do it? Young Kate? Yep. Uh-uh. You do it. Stealing a lunchbox. Oh, this is for their time capsule. Well, Katie, I'm calling your mom, then the cops, because they don't tolerate stealing here, you understand? No need to do that. Oh, this is enough. Whoa! Jacob's in the real world. You're not gonna steal anymore, are you? We have to get out of here. Why? Jack is on his way to blow up a hydrogen bomb. We have to stop him. I just want them to go to L.A. Sorry, I'm gonna pass. Yes. So we're gonna drink our O.J. and take our chances in the real world. Faraday told me that we needed to wipe out some kind of pocket of energy. The core itself is a thermonuclear weapon. It'll be more than enough. Does this sound like a good idea to you, Louise? Richard. You're pregnant. Which is exactly why we have to help them see this through. Who stopped the damn drill? I did. <laughs> I came to this island to change the world, Pierre. That's exactly what I intend to do. Uh, Let's get it started! Frickin' Radzinski, man. Uh, they do love this, uh... This locale. It's gorgeous. Who's Jacob? He's in charge of this island. You said John was in charge. No, I said he was the leader. A title that I've discovered is incredibly temporary. The leader answers to Jacob. What's he like? I don't know. I don't know, son. I've never met him. Now that he says that, I don't believe him. Crap! Ugh! He said he was sure you were dead. He saw your coffin loaded onto that plane that you came back on. Yep. How were you alive? If anyone should have an explanation, I think it would be you. I've never seen someone come back to life. And I've never seen anyone who doesn't age. It doesn't mean it can't happen. <laughs> I'm this way because of Jacob. He's the reason you're not that confident anymore. I agree completely, Richard. Was Richard on the Black That's Rock? I'm doing this so I can thank him. Or kill him. Once I've done that, we're going to need to deal with the rest of the passengers from the Ajira flight that brought me here. What do you mean, do it? what I mean. What lays in the shadow of the statue? Ah. Uh, what is in that crate? We've been... So many frickin' mysteries. He didn't know the answer to the question. That doesn't mean he's not important. What, you think he's a candidate? Candidate? What does that mean? Who the hell are you people? We're friends. So you of. all your friends in the face with a rifle, shove them in the boat and kidnap them? Only the ones we like. What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? It's a magic box. It gives you anything that you you can imagine. Open it. Okay, let's find out. What is it? Oh, they love drawing it on drawing out the reveal. Terrific. 
What is it? Come on, Frank. Tell us. Show us. Is this young Sawyer? And those are his parents? That would make sense. Two coffins. And Jacob's going to be here at his moment, too. Is that what we're going to find out? Yeah, he's writing a letter. Dear Mr. Sawyer. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. You can keep it. You don't know who I am, but I know who you are. And I and know, I what, know you what you done. did. Done. They're gone. There ain't nothing you can do to change that. What's done is done. What happened happened. Now promise me you're not going to finish that letter. <laughs> well, we know how that turned out. I promise. Liar. Good. How many people is Jacob going to visit? Sawyer, if Jack does this, he could kill everyone on the island. Yeah, I heard that part. And you're okay with that? I never get to meet I Juliet. I made a choice and I'm sticking to it. I decided to leave and I'm leaving. Ah, uh, Juliet's going back. We decided to leave this island, James. And now we're going back. Are you serious? We can't just let those people die. Oh. You want out? She's too good for her own good. I want the damn cuffs. <laughs> oh. I, I, I want to see the spin-off, which is just Suliet living in 78. Why, why am I totally fine with Saeed, like, pulling the core from a hydrogen bomb? Like, if it was anyone else, I'd be nervous, but it's Saeed, so I'm like, yeah, all good. 20 years ago, a man named John Locke came to visit me. He walked right into our camp, and he told me that he was going to be our leader. You know him. Locke. Yeah, he's, he's special. Yeah. And if I were you, I wouldn't give up on him. Man. It's Jack that convinces Richard about Locke. That's crazy. Why haven't you told him about my plans for Jacob? I assumed you'd want to keep that a secret. When did that ever stop you? <laughs> well, I started thinking differently about things when my dead daughter threatened to destroy me if I didn't do everything you said. You're willing to do whatever I say, no matter what it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well then, I'm not going to kill Jacob, Ben. You are. You are. You made me kill my father. <sighs> oh, who's Jacob going to run into now? Oh. Is this where she dies? Oh no, I don't want to see Nadia die. Yeah, she's going to be killed right now. Excuse me, sir. Could you help me? Oh my god. I'm sorry. I think I'm lost. Are you from Los Angeles? I'm lost. I found it. No! Take me home. All right. Off to Tabriz. Jacob distracted him. That must have been on purpose. But he was there. Was he working in concert with whoever was in the car? I think he must have been. Well, that was quick. It's one of the Dharma houses. I'll go first. Because if someone in that house is a threat, you might hesitate. But I won't. Once we give you the all clear, then you bring the bomb. Okay. We don't want any accidents. <gasps> Whoa. What the hell are you doing? She ordered me to help you. We helped you. Now you're on your own. I'm taking her out the way we came in. All right. Jack and Saeed. Whose house is it? Is it just a random? Nothing's random on this show. Is this Chang's? Oh, it's horses! We hide in plain sight. Hey! Hey! Clear the no! Well, we know Roger survives, but Saeed got shot? This isn't good. Seriously outnumbered. 
Oh, it's Hurley. Get in. Oh. Side shot. Again. That's the North Shore over there. Sun's over there. That's gotta be the West Coast. Oh, Juliet. Really? Oh, my heart breaks for her. She's too good for her own good. Thank you for backing me up at the sub. No problem. Ah, oh, her Mona Lisa no smile. Where the hell we are. So much hidden in that no problem. No! Vincent! Come here! Vincent! Vincent! How do you survive alone out here? Oh, hell no. Yes! It's Rose and Bernard! Bernard! <laughs> oh, thank God they're alive! God bless them! God bless them! Found us. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, indeed. Ah. Oh, I've never been so happy to see people as Rose and Bernard right there. Early, if you want to save Saeed, take us to the swan. Swan it is. Jack, what's at the swan? I think I found a way to get you back to your wife. People try their whole lives to get themselves a nice, quiet place near the ocean where they can live in peace. And we did it. <laughs> That's what we made for ourselves. Yeah. Well, I hate to rain on your parade, but... Jack has a bomb. Who cares? Excuse me? It's always something with you people. <laughs> you people. So we die. We just care about being together. Oh. Yep. Yeah. See? They, the matters in the end. they could have had that, too. But Kate... Kate had to show up. You sure you don't want some tea? She'd love some tea. Maybe another time. <sighs> oh. Still not gonna show us what's in the freaking crate. I wish you'd never showed me what was in this damn box. <laughs> what the hell are you gonna do with it anyway? We need to show it to somebody. What for? So they'll know who they're up against. Don't worry, though. As long as you're with us, you're fine. We are the good guys. <laughs> In my experience, the people go out of their way to tell you that the good guys are the bad guys. Yeah, the Benjamin Linuses of the world. Okay. The sand, the hut, the cap. Oh, it's, it's been broken. Does it mean Jacob's loose? What does the ash mean? We thought it was sand when we first saw it, but we only ever saw it at night. I don't think we've ever seen the cabin in daylight. Where are we? Okay. Who is that? Not Nadia. That doesn't make any sense. Oh no! It's Alano. Will you help me, Alano? Yeah. So the good guy, so they're they're all aligned with Jacob. So there is a third party. You know, we used to think it was just Ben and Widmore, but I, as soon as we sort of learned about Alana and what lies in the shadow of the statue, I questioned whether maybe there was a third alignment. The Jacobness of it seems to be the answer. Is it a map? Not gonna show us, of course. So what now? What's it say? Is it is it a map? No, oh, it's the crocodile god. Well, I guess we know where we're going. I'll have to bone up on my Egyptian mythology to find out the name of that god. But I know there is a crocodile headed god in Egyptian mythology, I think. That's a serious blaze they got going, and I don't think that's CG. They're burning, like, the branch of this tree in the foreground. Like, the massive branch. Yep. Back to Survivorville. Everything all right? I was enjoying some alone time. <laughs> oh, John's loving making Ben miserable. What happened that day at the cabin? I'm a well, Pisces. You first took me to meet Jacob. Are we going to explain that it mystery? You clearly already know that I was talking to an empty chair, John. That I was pretending. Okay. 
That makes sense. I just want to say that I wasn't as surprised as you were when things started flying around in the room. I didn't want you to know that I had never seen Jacob. I lied. That's what I do. <laughs> a, a lot of characters on the show. Why do you want me to kill Jacob, John? A lot of characters on the show have just a one-word identity. Service to this island, you got cancer. You had to watch your own daughter gunned down right in front of you. And your reward for those sacrifices? You were Exile. Banished. And you did all this in the name of a man you've never even met. So the question is, Ben, why the hell wouldn't you want to kill Jacob? <laughs> Jack is Fix. Kate is Run. Sawyer is Con. Ben is Lie. Locke is... Save? Oh, the crib. Is the drive shaft... Did we ever get the drive shaft ring out of there? That's where Charlie left it. If we find the drive shaft ring right now... Jacob's at their wedding? <laughs> they never got their honeymoon until they went to the island. <sighs> Who is he? Neither of them know. Who was that? <laughs> You're not going back in time. Right, because that would be ridiculous. <laughs> I need to modify the bomb. I can lick it so it detonates on impact. Why the hell are we stopping? That's why. Men with guns? Ha! <laughs> Sawyer with guns. Oh, showdown. What's going to happen? Oh, man, guys. So much happening in that episode. It flew. I don't even know where to start. I just want to jump into the next episode. Sawyer, Kate, and Juliet trying to stop Jack and Saeed from setting off the bomb. Not entirely sure where Jin and Miles and Hurley are going to fall in that conflict. I think Jin will want it if it means there's a chance of him getting to Sun. I love the conversation between Locke and... I love every Locke and Ben scene. I don't think they've ever had a scene that it hasn't been thrilling. But especially that one on the beach at the end. Why on earth would you not want to kill Jacob? But we need to talk about Jacob. Because we've heard about Jacob since... I want to say early season three, we heard about Jacob's list. We saw Jacob's name in room 23 when they were brainwashing Carl. Um, those were the early incidents. But we, we, we've been waiting for so long to see Jacob. And we finally met Jacob. Um, curious who the other guy talking to him was, whether that's going to matter. Feels... A, he's got a familiar face. It feels like he's an important character. Doesn't feel like that was a one-off. But I'm also going to assume that that was the Black Rock off in the distance. Which means we're talking like 150 years ago. I wonder whether Richard was on there or... Like, how long has he been an advisor? But Jacob shows up in our characters' lives at key moments to maybe guide them, maybe sort of reinforce their mission, you know, like help shape them in some way. We saw him with Kate and Sawyer and Sun and Jin and Saeed. Although his, show, his, his appearance in Saeed's life was a fascinating one because he engineered Nadia's death is... Man, I'm sorry. 
I apologize for the starts and stops right now because, you know, for the last year plus we've been talking about Ben versus Widmore, who, who's on what side. But now we throw Jacob into the equation. We see Jacob operating in the real world and and Nadia, I mean, sorry, Ilana is directly al aligned with him. And this past phrase, what lies in the shadow of the statue is clearly a way of identifying yourself as Jacob aligned. But my question is, is, is Jacob aligned with Widmore? I think it's clear he's not aligned with Ben. Ben's never seen Jacob. Ben hid that fact um, when they went into the cabin with Locke and like, like he explained on the beach there. But there still exists the possibility that Widmore and Jacob are aligned, although I doubt it. So I, this has become a three-way battle for control of the island. I, I want to revisit that conversation at the in the cold open with Jacob and the other guy because they disagreed about what it meant whenever new people came to the island. And I think it was the other guy that said, uh, whenever it ha whenever somebody comes, there's, there's a struggle and conflict and uh, it all ends badly. But then Jacob said something along the lines of, anything prior to the end is just progress. But I, need, I, I feel like I need to re-watch that in the edit to further wrap my head around that conversation. And, um, and I want to jump into the next episode. So I'm going to keep this postscript on the short side, at least for uh, Neil Talk's Lost episode. And let's jump into part two in a couple of days. I apologize you're not going to see it right away, but that's what happens um, here on Neil Talks. Um, I apologize for making you be patient, but it paid off for Ben, so it'll pay off for you. Until then, everybody, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.